Poker, anyone? Sure, I'll play. Used to spend a lot of nights playing this game. My uncle used to play this. Made me promise not to tell my father. <laughs> See ya. Yes, sir. -y. I'll check. Here. Don't be too scared now. Um, sure. How about this? I'd suggest you make a bolder play than that next time. Good. Okay. There's no way you got all that. Come on. Ha! Uh-huh. All mine! By the way, has anybody seen my compass? Hi. Didn't know you had one. Yeah, yeah, I had it since my first day in the Navy. Can't believe I'd gone and lost it. Hmm. Well, keep my eye out for another one. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You know, the amount we move around, it's a useful thing to have. Sure. I know. That ain't too exciting. Careful, money bags. <laughs> yep, call. Let's start with this. My guess is you're bluffing. Call. How about this? I'm gonna see you. Ah! I'm gonna play slow. Ha! Oh, come on! Yes! Onwards we march. Okay. Yours, fair and square. I'd rather play for cigarettes than money, really. Let's see you. Just a small loss. Check. Forgive me. It's all I can afford. What's that? How about we from do your a mama? little of this? There. Oh. Now here's a respectable bet. Long way to go on a whole heap of nothing. I think... No way, you're bluffing. How about we do this? Give me this one, come on. Uh, okay. Here, just a little. You ain't got more than that.
Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. Careful, money bags. <laughs> I'll call. I just did a little wager. Here's some crumbs. Come on. Should you even be playing? Oh, look what this old man's got. Okay, well, it ain't I much. I like this here game. Oh, now that's some liquor money. Good joke, huh? Old Uncle's doing this! Ugh. Had a bad feeling, too. Hmm. Ah, look at that! The hell was that? See yourself. Ooh, someone's gonna have to make a liquor run eventually. <laughs> you know, the art of bluffing all has to do with your eyes. It's too bad yours are so beady. Forgive me, it's all I can afford. Dang it! That ain't no way to play. At least it's something. You ain't got more than that. I know. It ain't too exciting. I'd suggest you make a bolder play than that next time. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. Shoot! Yes! <laughs> That's as it should be. Come here. <laughs> Well, this is very civilized. You're telling me. I'm afraid I got matters to attend to. Hi there, Arthur. All right. You seem in a good mood. I do. Okay, maybe not then. I should do some work. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah.
I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well... <laughs> We'll see. Got fish to catch first. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you see that deer? Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. Where's your pole, Uncle Arthur? First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! 
Got one, Jack. I see. I see. Did you see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right. Let's see what's biting there. You got a stick of things, Jack. This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Something happens, and you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. 
Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. Getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Get up. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. 